have a look at the trim window now. So we bring some clips down into the timeline. We then click on the trim button to bring up the trim working window. We're in the trim working window. We have a look down on the right hand side at the magnifier. Label to five seconds and we're displaying five seconds of video in each of these frames. The area displayed relates to the whole of the area here and is localized down to that particular area. So we have one, two, three tiers. Check on what we're looking at. Let's zoom in with the magnifier and go to a one second frame. See it's been localized down even further. And we can localize again to a particular frame. We're down to five frames now on each of these sections. And click again and we're down to one frame. Bring it back out to about five frames. There's a bit of jerky video here that needs to be removed. So we move along. See it going up and down a bit on the slider. We could do just as easily by going along these paces, but by moving the slider, we can actually view the area. Moving to one second frames can be easier to identify the area you're after, so you can localize down into it. It's a lovely bit just there. Let's start on and remove all the area to the left. And we place a mark in point here, which removes everything to the left. Let's quickly look to see what we want to save. Perhaps we've got that wrong. So we move along a little bit, one more frame, one more little area. Let's zoom in a bit closer. Hit the mark in point, move the slider, localize the slider, move one frame at a time. Excellent pose. Keeping the shot, puff in with sand deals flying in, mark out and the video is nearly finished. Check the frames individually, just right. Allow for the transition, extend the marker. The counter could be used to localize mark in and out. Click OK to finish. The trim option is used to edit a highlighted audio file in the audio track. Here the trim has a different looking interface. An earlier tutorial, Audio Mixing Room, fully explains the audio trim functions. Have fun using Trim and master its easy to use capabilities.